Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here. This is going to be a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers once and always theory discussion video, primarily revolving around Billy and a discussion of which powers and zords and whatever else he could have had a hand in resurrecting. Now I'm not going to go play by play over everyone, but I thought this was interesting because it reminded me of when we found out about the Morphin Masters, both in terms of them creating powers and them interfering, as it opened up the door of explaining a lot of plot holes. And the, first of all, I like that there's another avenue now, because I personally do like the Morphin Masters and the lore they've added to a lot of things. Um, I know there's a lot of people that hate them because they think it's a hand wave, and it is like a magical explanation for everything, and I'm like right in the middle in the sense that I love the Morphin Masters in concept, and kind of being able to explain some things that were previously unexplained, and in some senses it makes sense, but it doesn't need to be the explanation for everything. Like, I already see people explaining everything as the Morphin Masters. And I like that with this Billy thing in regards to showing him being involved in restoring the Zords and creating proxy coins, that it opens up another av avenue of explanation. But I also think it shows that there's multiple avenues for explanation. I don't think that means that whenever there's a question of like a power or a Zord or whatever, that it means it was either the Morphin Masters or Billy. I think that there could be other avenues as well to explain that. But I like that it gives a little more variety and a little more context for certain things. And I wanted to explore some of the things that could be restored and Billy could do. Now, I think it's possible that Billy could, you know, my, my not just be Billy by himself. He could work with other people. You know, he seems to have a whole network. So it's possible he's collaborated with other organizations like SPD, obviously, he's in contact with maybe even the Silver Guardians. So if one of their morphs is broken, maybe they could work, work together to restore it or restore their Zords or whatever. I think something like that's certainly a possibility. Obviously, it shows that he is able to make and restore power coins now, but we don't know exactly if he did that from the beginning. I think it certainly opens up the door. As of, like, like pre this, that was a great way of saying that. But, but for this special, the only coin or two coins we ever got explained that were restored, like in terms of knowing where it came from, was Adams and Once a Ranger because Sentinel Knight said that he restored their powers of the, the Once a Ranger team. And then Jason's and Beast Morphers when he got that coin that was sent to him, even though he already had one. But previously we had no idea why Jason was back with his powers. And then of course we had the full team there in Super Le Super Legends and Super Mega Force. And then we had Tommy with the Master Morpher, which obviously explains stuff like why he had white and green ranger powers in Mega Force, but not how he got him. But we could presume that Billy probably made the Master Morpher. That makes a lot of sense. I kind of like the idea of tying that more to the Morphin Masters, just because I like the idea of Morphin Masters, Master Morpher, get it? God, I'm a genius. But also, I think there's some story ideas I kind of had there in my head, but I'll save that for another time. A good story, but for another time. I think that opens up the door, especially since we see him directly working with Power Coins, that there's a very good chance he was involved with making the Master Morpher, especially since, you know, that was already a fan theory. And I could see it being explained as Billy was just the one to restore all the MMPR coins before in general. Because prior to this, they were either completely destroyed in the case of the Ninja Coins or damaged beyond repair at the current time, such as, you know, Adams and the others. Like, I could see, you know, it creates a bit of a question if you say, like, at some point Billy restored Jason's coin for him before he arrived in Forever Red, but then it brings into question, like, then why would Sentinel Knight say he restored Adams if, if uh, Billy already restored all the powers? You could retcon it and just say that Adam's powers were actually restored by Billy and Sentinel Knight didn't restore his powers. Because when he restored the powers of the Once a Ranger team, not everybody's powers needed to be restored. Like, at the time, it was only Adam, Tori, and Kira that powers needed to be restored. Both Bridge and Xander had their powers. So it's possible you could retcon that. It's not something they'll probably ever address. It's a fan nitpicky nerdy thing that I love to know about, but it's not essential. But you could very easily say, like, I don't mind making it my new headcanon that at some point Billy, like, got this organization and his, his company together and restored all the power coins for the Rangers in case they needed them, and that's why Adam had his. I kind of like that idea in general, and it kind of ties back more to him, and it makes sense because he worked with Zordon and Alpha so closely on all the command center and Ranger tech, and, you know, there's theories that he helped with the turbo powers, so it only makes sense that he would be able to do that and I like that idea of that and not being the Morphin Masters again like I like the Morphin Masters but I, this this explanation makes a lot more sense for the Mighty Morphin powers and he could also be involved with stuff like maybe he woke up the uh, the Robo Turbo Rangers to arrive in Legendary Battle I think that that also could beg the question of, I'm kind of curious about, and I'm sure this will never be addressed outside of something like a comic if they ever tackle this, if he has any connections with Gosei and the Ranger Keys. We still don't know where the Ranger Keys come from. Like, again, that could be something that could be involved with the Morphin Masters, but I also like the idea that maybe Billy worked with Gosei and maybe others, and that's what I talk about when it doesn't necessarily have to just be Billy and Ma Master, uh, the Morphin Masters in God mode, reviving all this stuff. Like, maybe Billy as we see, has a network formed like a network of various PR leaders that formed this sort of contingency plan, which was the Ranger Keys, kind of like a, hey, 
we kind of have this break glass in case of emergency team that can transform into past powers, and also they kind of act as a pseudo backup for all our powers. I kind of like that idea. And again, I don't need it to be just Billy or just the Morphin Masters. I like the idea of it being a collaboration, but I think this opens up the door for explanations that make sense, like him being involved with restoring the power coins, especially since there's been so many times where the Rangers have returned, uh, the MMPR Rangers specifically, where we don't know why they came back. And now you could presume that either Billy or the Morphin Masters were involved. For my sake, I'm going to presume it's Billy because I kind of like that idea a little bit more. And I like the, I, I kind of hope we get something about the Ranger Keys one day, just because that is kind of a big mystery when you think about it. That's a pretty big thing to exist that we don't know about. And I really do hope that there's a connection drawn some there. Because I like that idea too, especially since Zordon, or Zordon, Billy is so... Um, you know, obsessed with Zordon, uh, it would make sense that he would somehow find Gosei and they might work together maybe with some other leaders to create this. But I think that could be cool. So as of right now, I think Billy was mainly just primarily involved in the resurrection of the MMPR coins. But I think he has the skills and resources to help other people if they need their powers or things resurrected. Dino Thunder, Dino Thunder. You know, obviously that, uh, Kira's got awoken by uh, Sentinel Knight, but, you know, obviously... He knows Tommy. Tommy knows the Dino Thunder Rangers. So you could open up that door of him working with other people. Maybe he was the friend that RJ knew that connected him to the grid to create the Jungle Fury powers. I like this. You know, again, I don't think it just has to be two explanations, but I like that this opens up a whole other world of stories beyond the Morphin Masters did it. And I would love, you know, right now it seems like we're going to be putting pause on the universe, but I would love in the future to be offered a couple more even ideas and avenues of ways that these can be explained. And like, unfortunately, outside of the comics and the main PR world, there's always going to be a little bit of a question. Like the special in general kind of did the classic PR thing where it almost just lays down the tools for you to write your own story, where it's kind of like it gives you the tools to make your own headcanon, but it doesn't directly address it, which is kind of what I was expecting. But I kind of like that, because it's fun to think about the connections in the, uni in the universe and the, uh, the stories that might be taking place off screen that we don't see. But what do you think? What do you think is, uh, Billy is responsible for in regards to restored powers? What would you like to see him tied to in regards to restored powers and other things we've seen over the years, such as the Ranger Keys? Let me know in the comments, as always. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell. See you in occasions for my videos. It's Awesome Writer, signing out.